Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, the Cyclone. And now is the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Bergliotta. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? Well, every time we walk into this here Madison Square Garden, I think I will always think about you in 2017. It was UFC 217 championship triple header. It was the most, it was the most insane night of fighting ever. This big St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Joanna Jacek, and we absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest pictures of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us, and we looked like that poster with the monkey. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. That's a big strike right there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Right hook to the body. Oh, 
Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Nice kick. Lands the overhand punch to the head. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Big ball punch man. Now he gets back to range. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Back and forth we go. He went high on that one. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Liver kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, and he lands down. another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Diggy kick. What a body kick. the tail of the tape, he has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. <laughs> nice stupid punch. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Big kick lands. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. What a tricky head kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Ten minutes in the books. Well, 
what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining nice rounds. Round, we'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens in very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Yes, they heard it in the last round. Same exact one. Try to establish that jab. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice. Nice, sneaky head kick. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Oh, huge block! Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Wow. Trying to establish that jab once again. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Awesome. And both guys really throwing with authority. Got him whip his hip into that kick. And a miss with the right hook. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 9-28. 30-27 and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to